What's happening, folks? So I'm going to go to a techno party tonight, and I'm going to see Dave the Drummer, a.k.a. Henry Cullen, one of my longtime favorite techno producers. Uh, I mentioned in a number of reactions that I saw him do a live set. It was either like 99, 2000, 2001, somewhere in that two-year span. It was called Oracle. Again, I've talked about it in a few reaction videos. One of my favorite all-time acid techno sets I've ever heard. Uh, I saw him play in more recent times in Silmar during a time when he and Jose Lethal One were making the Silmar Acid Test track. So looking forward to seeing him again in 2023. And given that I'm going to go to a concert for Depeche Mode next week and my plan is to do a vlog, I'm going to do a techno party vlog and just sort of get back into that mode. Take some little clips across the course of the uh, party. Not super long clips, but just, you know, a couple minutes here, a minute there. Uh, and yeah, I'll just put together a little video. So yeah, this is the, uh, the experience of going to a techno party in Southern California in 2023. Let's go. All right, well, we're on the way to the techno party with Holger, Mr. Engineer. Hey. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to go see uh, Lethal One and Henry Cullen, a.k.a. Dave the Drummer. Uh, I was wanting to ask uh, Holger, uh, who has seen uh, Dave the Drummer before, uh, do you have any particular thoughts about the way he produces or his tunes that you've heard over the years? Oh, that's a good question. Um, hold on. Pay attention here, these <laughs> yeah. idiots. Um, I, uh, yeah, I like his, his tracks. Um, I, see, I saw him DJing uh, at a really interesting event uh, a while ago, um, years ago. Um, so it was like a um, construction yard. Have you been to that one? Yeah, I think the the one time that I saw him play in recent years, it was like it was like a construction site or something. It was outdoors. Yeah, it wasn't like a proper building or something. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it. Must have been where I saw him too. Yeah, there were like piles of sand and rubble and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the techno <laughs> world is like, people. You don't get your uh, proper club venues. You yeah, know, yeah, warehouses and construction sites. Uh, but yeah, I was saying that uh, one of the things that I've always loved about Dave's tunes is that there's this high quality production. So whether it's his old school acid techno stuff or the period like late 2000s, early 2010s where he was focusing more on like straightaway techno or indeed now that he's making acid techno again as superhero. It's just like the production qualities, you know, the percussion and the, the synths that he uses, they're just always super high quality. So, but yeah. Uh, and he has soon. also this uh, hydraulics label. Um, yeah, and that's funny. See, like, pretty cool I, stuff there too. Because it's more techno, straight up techno oriented, I don't know it as well as some of the other labels in the Stay Up Forever universe. Um, but again, I do know um, that a lot of the tracks are quality. I think the only one I have on hydraulics on vinyl is the Hotwire record. But yeah, he, uh, as you can see, the urban jungle of Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, nice I'm cool. Before you. <laughs> <laughs> I went to went to a wrong uh, ramp, and now I'm just I don't know. There it is, folks. I extended all right off for ten minutes or so. <laughs> well, see, this is this is always part of the adventure going to techno shows. Yeah, people, is you never quite know right here, how it's all going to play out. Now you have the um, the skyline, so you can yeah. shut off the skyline. And, yep. Uh, <sighs> Well, like I said, we'll be at the party soon, so I'll see you in a minute. But I do love the outdoor thump, where you can hear the kick through the wall.
techno party. Oh, there it is. There is Acid Techno Street, right there. But yeah, this is what it's like going to techno parties. You come home at like 4.30 in the morning and it's completely dead everywhere. Luca's probably wondering where the hell I've been.